What is up everyone? Here we go. We're gonna make some scrambled egg, the fluffiest. And you know what? We're gonna use the minimal ingredients. We'll have eggs, we'll also have some butter, and guess what? That's it. You know if you want some salt to season it, but we're gonna make it the simplest eggs, the fluffiest, and it's gonna be all good. First we're gonna start off with getting some butter into that pan. Make sure that your pan's on low, and maybe a medium low at the highest, and we're just gonna swirl it around. I'm on a hot plate right now, so it's really difficult to control the temperature. That's right, I'm putting the eggs right inside the pan, and let's just say that we got no bowls. What we can do is put it right in there. If you notice that it's sizzling right off the bat, it's probably a little too hot. You're going to see that the egg whites still haven't uh, fully cooked and you can see that the egg yolks are separating and I'm just going to keep scrambling this. If you feel like it's getting too much, just take the pan off the heat and that's what I'll do in a bit as well. So it keeps swirling it and you know it's uh, going to be a little bit watery but as you continue to scramble it inside the pan, you're going to see that uh, it's going to come together as well. So don't get too scared of it. So right now I felt like it was going too hot so I wanted to make sure I take it off the heat and still scramble it just to give it some air and give it some lightness to it and I put it right back. I'm going to finish it on there. As you put the heat on still on some medium low you'll still be able to see it coming together just like that and we're going to finish it. It's been about four minutes since I put in the eggs originally and scrambling on and off the heat and we've got it. And that is it. Literally, that's it. Scrambled eggs in about four minutes, and it was just butter. There we go. And that is some scrambled egg. Now, I want to try something new. What's up everyone? Well, here's another way that we are going to make some scrambled eggs. And this is when you got nothing. You know, if you don't have any butter or oil, what we can do is just really boil it with this. And guess what? You don't even need a top. Uh, it's nice and helpful, but you don't need it. Okay, so let's just start boiling. And if you just have two eggs, we can use two eggs. If you have nothing to season it with, well, um, we'll figure that out later. So uh, let's uh, figure out how we can use boiling water to make some fluffy scrambled eggs. All right, just gonna move this over. And we're just gonna grab our eggs. So here's our bowl, and I'm gonna crack it with one hand. Yeah, the magician, check it out. Yeah, it took me about 10 eggs to figure this out. Kidding. So we've got our two eggs here, and I'm just gonna scramble it. And what you wanna do is scramble it, whether you want it all homogenous, meaning one color, or what I like to do is just having it a little bit different. I do wanna make sure the eggs are done. So um, here's our bowl. We're gonna bring it to a boil, and we're gonna make a little vortex by spinning it around. Okay, so I'll teach you that in a second and it's going to make everything really fluffy and it's going to literally take about 15 seconds until we take it out and, and strain it. So here's my slotted spoon and I'm going to start making the vortex and the vortex is like a tornado. Check it out. So we're going to keep spinning it and spinning it until it has, it doesn't have to be an actual tornado coming out of the pot. But we've got a nice um, circular motion going and I'm just going to move the eggs in. It doesn't have to go at a super speed. Okay, as you can see I'm pouring the eggs in and it's going to be the fluffiest eggs you've ever had. I'm going to cover this up and again you don't need a cover. You're going to take about 10 to 20 seconds and after that you'll open it up. So here it's been about 15 seconds and now I want to just take it on. Make sure that it stays at the boil and I'm going to strain it out. I've got my own strainer here. But this is just me. If you don't have a strainer, that's okay. So I'm just taking it out carefully, getting all the water out. What you do want to do is try and get as much water not in your eggs. So you can take your spoon, rub it up on the side, or you can just put it onto a paper towel, let it drain just a little bit, and dab, dab, dab. I know that's the word of the year. So dab out some of the water and make sure that it's not in the final product. And I'm going to plate it up now. And now you've got some really fluffy, airy scrambled eggs. No joke, you have had nothing fluffier than this. And you make sure that you have to season it with something. I'm using salt here to season it. Some people will use pepper or olive oil. But I want to reiterate, we made delicious scrambled eggs with nothing but boiling water. We just made a vortex and we just put the scrambled eggs right in there. It's going to be delicious. Now here's our taste test. I'm just going to season it just a little bit more. Put a dash and a pinch of salt right on there just so it tastes great. Now here's the original one where we did the uh, sort of use the pan for it. And we scrambled everything right in there. We just used butter and mm, yeah, it's really fluffy. And here we go. Here is the boiled scrambled eggs and just as fluffy. Look how light that is right there and still really silky smooth and yeah, delicious. Now, 
Do you have to be the most amazing chef? No, but you can be creative with what you have. You don't need a lot. And this, again, is a very simple meal. As you can see, I'm sort of like trying to devour it and trying to get this really airy scrambled egg. You'll notice that it's um, really delicate. So uh, the purpose of this is to show you that you can cook with less and you can still be really, really creative. Love to see your projects uh, and let me know how those go. So again, uh, the first two, these scrambled eggs were just uh, really simple with ingredients and in process. It doesn't have to be the best and greatest meal, but I would love to see the creativity. All right, everyone. Chow down.